So it's 22, 18 p.m. It is Wednesday, so still happy home day. So I just got done watching AEW's Dynamite Anniversary. Four-year anniversary of the show. That was really cool. It was so okay. Yeah. It's so funny. Because I can compare this to Raw's anniversary specials, SmackDown's, TNA, and... Um, overcompensating motherfucker. <sighs> uh, just those three brand, those three shows, they all had anniversaries. And this one was so whelming. It was okay. Like, <sighs> and what made it so special was that Edge, Adam Copeland, is now part of AEW. Of course, I'm looking for him to be like, oh, a couple matches in, I gotta retire again. Like, okay. I don't know. I mean, he looks great. He looks really good. And it's weird for me, because I'm like... Um... It's weird seeing him and Christian. And I don't know his name is Jay. 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 Jay Walker. <laughs> See? <laughs> That's some funny shit, Jay. Um, it's just, it's weird seeing both of them in the same ring again. 20 years later, like, over 20-something years later, it's crazy. And it's cool, it was funny, Christian telling him to go fuck himself, like, damn. But the fact that they brought, that he signed, that just overshadowed the whole whole anniversary deal like the only the biggest highlight of the anniversary for me was Wardlow coming back and that shitty haircut <laughs> or no his hair growing back because he got cut but yeah his hair looked weird <laughs> so I don't know and I've already done my thoughts video on AEW but on this special this anniversary could have been a lot better why didn't they have a highlight reel like, they should have shown, like, highlights of Dynamite over the past four years. And there are plenty of fucking highlights. You had fucking, of course, the debut episode. I didn't watch it when it first started. I got into it late in the game. Um, what else? You had Jay, Jay Cargill's run with the TBS title. And how she built her shit up. Um, CM Punk making his debut. And yeah, I know he's fired, but still, that's an important part of AEW's history. Um, the Young Bucks, just everybody. All the originals and their upcomings and all that shit. Wardlow's streak that he had. Um, I'm trying to think. Cody Rhodes is running all that. Just all that stuff. And the whole broadcast, they didn't really talk much about that. And it's kind of sad. That's fucked up. Like, you're on your four-year anniversary. Four years. And you don't even show any clips from the past. Like, really? You don't show no clips. You don't. Um, it's weird. <sighs> so, I don't know. It's odd to me. Like, it, it feels like Adam overshadowed everybody else to me. And that's... I mean, yeah, he's a big attraction. I get that. I understand. But, if you are having an anniversary special, you should have clips of previous... Events that were important and landmark to your show. I mean, that's how it works. That's how every series... That's how a series finale works, too. Like, if you if your show is going off the air, you do flashback events of, you know, where they were then versus now. And, yeah, I'm thinking of Homicide when I say that because I love that series so much and I think of Bayless all the time. Because he had the best fucking character arc. Ever in TV history. 
<clears throat> I mean, you want to see a good long payoff that takes a long time to get to and makes you cry. You need to watch that shit. Um, but going to AEW and stuff, like, fuck. It's weird. Just really fucking weird to me that they didn't have any clips, no shout outs, no nothing. Wild. And of course, everything now is just Adam being an AEW. Like, great, cool. And then you still have the issues of people getting shuffled around. Wardlow's back. That's cool. Watch him fall through the cracks again. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. And I like how Adam named off people he wanted to have matches with. That was cool. And I'm thinking... Why didn't you mention Darby Allen? Like, dude, that would be a hell of a match. But, I don't know. It's just strange. Uh, and I also feel like they sh AEW shouldn't bring in ex-WWE superstars either. I really don't think they should. But they'll keep doing it because Tony will throw his money away on anybody who wants to join. And... <sighs> It's just wild, honestly. Like everybody gets shuffled around. They end up either on AEW or they go to ROH. So, I don't know. I'm guessing over time, Adam will go to ROH, do whatever he does there, and then retires. Or have some freak accident. <sighs> and decide, eh, I'm done. Just funny. That's what happened. It's a pattern. It's a fucking pattern. And I love that shit because it's so stupid. And people are like, no, don't retire. You have to keep going. <laughs> I mean, look at it this way. Would you rather want to see the NWO still going on in 2023 with Hogan running the shit? Or would you want to see fresh talent? Just saying. Because you don't want to get much with Hogan in 2023. Jesus Christ. It's like, hey, what you got, brother? <laughs> he'd be so goddamn slow. Oh, God, it'd be funny. And he'd be so fucking slow. And on top of that, it would just be him running his mouth like he did back on Nitro. Yeah, it would suck. But that's just how I feel about the anniversary. I wish it could have been better. I wish they'd had more, but you know, it is what it is. There's my fucking cap. Lost my damn cap. Uh, I don't know. I still like AEW. It's just. It's sad. It's just. It's sad to me. They need to do more and make it better instead of just, you know, they need to think ahead. Like when Dynamite turns five next year, this time next year, hopefully they'll pull their head out of their ass and not bring in someone ex WWE. Like, oh, yeah, they're coming in with the pay per view. Yeah. Overshadow everybody else with the fucking Dynamite episode. Because that's sad. Because that's literally. To me, that's a slap in the face to the talent that's already there and established. You know? Because you look at all the talent like, wow, that's a great fucking roster. What could make it better? <laughs> Let's bring in someone else. <sighs> but it is what it is. So, And they didn't even go over what the hell happened at Wrestle Dream that much. But I guess they're going to save it for Rampage and Collision, so... Because I was anxious to see what happened at Wrestle Dream. All I know from Wrestle Dream is Adam, as I've talked about for the past nine and a half minutes. So, that's where I'm at. So, I'm going to hop off of here, upload this, and go do whatever. So, <laughs> till next time, like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers.